Today I'm working on the front AC uh, on top of my camper. It's been having some hard start issues. Um, you plugged into shore power, it's fine, but if I have, uh, if I'm plugged into my generator and I'm running both the front and the rear AC, when the compressor on this one kicks in, sometimes it'll really bog the generator down. And the issue I'm fairly certain is the start capacitor. Um, I've already been into it and looked at the start capacitor and it looks like it's leaking out the top. And so I think that's gonna be the issue. So I've ordered a new start capacitor and today we're gonna to look at how to replace the start capacitor on this thing. We're gonna start by taking this top cover off. It's just the four screws on top. Once the screws are out, the cover just lifts right off. Just make sure you're a little gentle because you don't want to break that cover. Once you have that cover off, uh, on this one, this is a Coleman AC air conditioner out of the mid 90s, uh, but you just want to pull this cover off and it just slides down tight fit and then inside are your capacitors just give you a quick look at the capacitors this capacitor in the back here on the on the right hand side of the picture is a run capacitor the gray one for the compressor this front gray capacitor is a run capacitor for your fan motor and then over here uh, the black capacitor is the one we're going for today and that is your start capacitor for the compressor. Okay, now that we're inside here, there is a screw right over here on the right hand side that holds this metal piece in place that holds all the capacitors. So we're just going to back that out with a screwdriver. Back the screw out and that's going to let these capacitors go. Now you want to be very careful not to touch the contacts and actually you could do this first. Use a screwdriver with a good handle on it so you're not going to get shocked and just cross the contacts of each of the capacitors. Here's a run capacitor. I'm going to cross that one first just make sure. Now I haven't had this hooked up to power for a couple of days so we should be good but we're just going to make sure they're all drained out and just use that screwdriver. Make sure you don't touch the metal part of the screwdriver and then we have this big one our start capacitor back here and we're good. All right, now that these are all loose, we're going to pull this start capacitor out. I'm still going to be careful not to touch the contacts because I don't want to get shocked. Now, if you look at the start, top of this start capacitor, you can see all that stuff around the top there. This capacitor has leaked and isn't either isn't doing its job at all or isn't doing a very good job. And so that's what we're going to fix right now. So we're going to pop these contacts off. I'm still going to be careful not to touch this. And we'll just carefully pull this off. Okay. All right. So, so again, there's what it looks like on the top. Now, the new capacitor that I bought on the left here is a good bit smaller than the old one. But what you want to do is just look up the rating. If you look on the old one here, you can see it's rated for 108 to 130 UF at 330 volts AC. And this one is... This one is 108 to 130 UF and 330 volts AC. Just make sure you get the get the right rating capacitor and you should be fine. The old one was hooked up like this. I'm going to turn them the same way. Um, the power feed wire was on this side. The output wire was on this side. So that's how we're going to hook it up on this one as well. We're going to turn it like this. And the wire coming from the run capacitor we're going to put into this one. And then the wire going to the start relay. I'm going to put into this one. And there we go, we're hooked up. See if we can arrange these back in here. Okay, we have those back in there now. If you see, I changed the order a little bit because of the different size of capacitor so I put the smaller one in the front just to make sure it's all held tight you just want these all to be nice and firm in there and not rubbing the bottom that way when they vibrate and shake while you're going down the road you don't have any problems with uh, rubbing or clunking or anything you want it all to be tight no wires pinched so just make sure of that 
and we're ready to give it a test. All right, that looks good. So we're gonna put this back together now. Be careful not to get shocked. When you're tightening these down, make sure you don't tighten them so tight that you crack your plastic. And that's how you change your AC start capacitor. Seems like it's running great. The true test will be when we plug it into the generator. We'll see if it runs better then.